Hello, Beauty News family. Welcome to this week's episode of The Makeup Breakup. This is a series where we destroy makeup for fun and sometimes to learn something. We upload new videos every Wednesday, so make sure you smash that subscribe button before we smash some benefit boxed blushes. Oh my God, I'm so excited. All right, guys, so today we are finally taking a look at benefit boxed powders. So we have five here. We've got California, Dandelion Twinkle, Dallas, Hula, and Dandelion Blush in a mini. Now, these are all of varying weights. California is five grams, Dandelion Twinkle is three, the Dandelion Blush is 3.5 grams, Hula is eight grams, Dallas is nine grams. And we're only missing two other different weighted boxed powders. So Sugar Bomb, which is a like an illuminating blush, that's a 12 gram powder. And the Dandelion Blush is seven grams, but we picked up the mini because we, we think it's interesting that it weighs more than the Dandelion Twinkle. So what we're gonna do today is um, depot these and weigh them. Then we're gonna destroy them and see what they weigh and also just take a look at like are there any really obvious reasons why they're all different weights or is it simply down to their ingredients yeah so this video has been highly requested for and we've wanted to do it for oh, over a year now because yeah. uh, we do want to know why are these boxes that on the face of it are the same size but why do they vary so significantly in weight here they are um, now the reason they come in the boxes is because they do each come with their own brush for application and we think it's cool how each brush has like a different colored handle uh, but what we're gonna do is pop these out of their boxes before we weigh them so we're just weighing the pan okay so one thing that we've noticed straight away is that the pans are actually completely different uh, you can see here that there is one in a metal pan um, this middle one has a plastic pan and this highlighter might not have a pan at all it might be a baked product um, on some sort of base so we're gonna to have to pull these apart but probably in different ways um, the other two that we have have uh, metal pans so those are similar to this one here uh, but yeah it's, we're gonna see if we can pull them apart without breaking them mm. all right so we've got to get this pan out um, I think the easiest way is definitely going to be break the box um, and this one just tears with um, you know finger strength um, there's no like intense um, coating on this to sort of prevent you from being able to just tear the box, which is great. Just going to loosen uh, the base by giving it a little bend and not bending the pan. Don't bend the pan, only bend the cardboard. There we go. Oh, easy. Really easy. On the bottom, you do have another piece of cardboard. I'm not sure how difficult that is going to be to remove. Um, so we'll keep it, shall we? We can, yeah. So that was surprisingly simple. It took a whole 30 seconds. Yeah. And these pans are magnetic as well. So um, they will stick into like your Z palette or whatever. You just have to remove that backing. Can I just say before we destroy this? Yeah. The packaging's awesome. Yeah, it is nice. I'm wondering if this one might be a little bit more difficult to do with hands. Luckily, we've got a knife. But yeah, we'll see. No. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. You just like, just grab it and kind of pull apart while putting pressure and it just splits. Like it's, yeah, very easy. All right, so you can see that plastic pan there. Let's see. This one is much more stuck. All right, so again, stuck to the cardboard. 
in here there's like there's just a spot of glue so you can melt that on um, something hot like a hair straightener or whatever if you want to or you could just peel away this like the excess and you could use some sort of like glue solvent to melt the patch of glue I'm curious about this one I'm curious to see if it's gonna be difficult to get open I'm curious about the pan so let's see there we go Yeah, we've already discovered that it looks like, since it's not a pan, it's a thick um, baked pan, and then just the product on top. It's very small yeah. compared to the pan. So it's not a hollow pan that you fill with product. This is built on top of the pan, yeah. and there's not much product there. That's why it's only three grams. Yeah, but it looks like a lot more. It does. All right, we'll depot the others and we'll get to weighing these. So um, this one just pops out. It's actually magnetized. Oh. So. Um, that's kind of cool though. Yeah, I'm wondering if that's like a bit of a new feature. Um, it could be. Because, yeah. I, that, I think they know that people want to depot these. Yeah, so that's kind of cool. Just Very cool. break a little bit and your pan will pop out. There you go. Cool. All right, so here they are all out of their boxes. We're going to weigh them and then get to some destroying action. We're gonna start with Hula. Do the hula. Let's get into it. So you can see the pan is, you know, pretty standard. There's nothing super crazy about the depth or mm -hmm. the shape. All right, let's do dandelion twinkles. So this is just sitting on top of its baked sheet. Yeah, that's not very thick. Yeah. Not if you expect that they they come in pans. Yeah. I didn't know that this was a baked product. No. But, I mean, baked highlighters, it's pretty common. Not for that little product though. Baked yeah. highlighters usually come like 10 grams. They're quite yeah. hefty. You get a lot of product. That is a very thin layer. So if you look at three grams, if that is three grams, yeah. that's just like a very big eyeshadow. Let's get into Dallas. I reckon I know why this is more weighty. More dense? Yeah, it's pressed firmer. This is the Dandelion Blush. Wow, Ooh. it's so soft. Let's get into this. This is cool. I don't want to destroy it. It's pretty. It is pretty, isn't it? Gotta destroy it. Oh shit. Is that a cream? What? Is it a cream? It's supposed to be a powder, isn't it? it feels like plastic. Oh.
I'm so confused. And it's on one of those grid pans. Swatch it. I'm curious. Does it just go straight to powder? Yeah, it does. Yep. Yeah, it's... So it's a cream to powder. It's a really, really interesting... Um... Oh, God. I've never even felt anything like it before, so I don't know how to describe it. It's... I don't... I don't know... Yeah, I, you have to just touch it, Kat, to understand. Like, feel it with your hand, and then... Oh, it's like a foam. That's what I'm talking about. It's like a... And, like, if... It's definitely a powder, but it's more of a corn starchy. It's so weird. It's got that core, like, it kind of gathers together like it's a corn starch. But it's definitely a powder. It's just a foamy powder. It's very strange, because this... I don't know, when you touch it with, I guess, the spatula, it has that sort of bounce back like a, like a pow like a cream sort of product does. But it definitely is a powder product. It's really it's so strange. Weird. And that'd also be why they need the special pan because if it just if it l does just lift like this, yeah, would you, uh, it would just lift, would lift out of straight out of a pan. Mm. It wouldn't break because it's kind of like it's almost bendy, like it's so I don't know. It's cool, like I've never, I've never experienced. I think it's got a lot of silicon in it. I think that might be what's going on. I don't know. I'm yeah, it's cool. All right, so we have done our depotting, our weighing, our destruction, and our final weigh of these products. And we found that mm, I, everything is pretty much what it should be or close to. So we've got Dallas over here. Yeah, that's the only one that's underweight. And it's only underweight by a small amount. So it's supposed to be 9 grams. It's 8.83 grams. So within the legal deficit yeah. so it's still look it's slightly under but it's not obscenely under yeah the rest are all over whether it's by 0.39 grams um the highlighter is over by over a whole gram yeah um which is good and we also have california over by nearly three grams mm. so you know the i think the interesting thing we found out is Benefit is definitely telling the truth, but by deconstructing each product, we can definitely see why they have different weights. Yeah. So we have these, which are traditional pan products. One might be pressed a little bit firmly than the other. This is a traditional pan product as well. Then we have a baked product that doesn't sit in a pan. It sits, it's baked on top of like a ceramic pan. So you can see that it looks like if you just it take look, yeah. yeah in it the looks box huge yeah but it's it's not the thing that disappoints me about this though if it does contain so little product so roughly um okay this was overweight yeah. by a gram but it's still roughly a half of one of these yeah but you're, should, paying, the you're same, paying the same, same amount price. that's yeah. the kicker for me yeah. i understand that it's a baked product those are more expensive to make but i don't think they should charge the same amount for a fraction of the product this one is, it's a thing on its own. Like it is so completely different to these powder it products. Is. It's like a mousse powder hybrid. Yeah. Um, it's like a foamy product. And so for it to stick in the pan, if it was in one of these pans, it would just lift. Yeah. Uh, it You'd could, literally be able to flip it out like a pancake. Especially if it started drying down. Yeah. Like if some of the moisture it would, stuff, it, it would shrink and it would come out. So it needs a different pan so it can stick to stick in the box. Yeah. Um, and with that completely different formula comes a different weight. So we've pretty much answered the question that we went in with, which was why are they so different? And I think it's just that they're all different formulas, but they weren't um, 
described as being so different. So, um, you know, when you do pull them apart, you kind of understand it. Um, But it is, yeah, on the surface, it looks strange. When you pull it apart, it starts making more sense. Yeah. I think we've taken a little bit of the mystery away from the benefit box blushes today, which is exactly what we wanted to do. And at the end of the day, they have a theme of products or a range of products. And although they, the contents can be very different, um, they very cleverly package them to keep them within the same family. So that's what you get. Yeah, that's it. All right, guys. So that's it for us today. Kat and I still do have some questions about Benefit. We wonder if you guys have some questions about Benefit as well. What's playing on our mind? I'm curious if their famous blush palettes or their box powder palettes are the same as these just in a palette form yeah or are they completely different like if you get the highlighter in it do you get this pan very curious that's what i want to know and what about this yeah is that gonna be in there i'm very curious very curious indeed if you guys are curious as well let us know we might do a part two we might Um, if you're curious about any other benefit products and you have any burning questions let us know and we'll see if we can solve those mysteries do it all all of it all right guys thanks so much for watching we really hope you enjoyed this video if you did smash a big thumbs up on it and we will see you in the next one bye